And we're talking with Superintendent Walter Watkins at Hammond School District. Do you feel you have a good handle on where you need to go from here? I think now we do. I think uh, the state has given us uh, some direction. Uh, and now, for the first time, I think I have an administrative team that gets it. And we're working feverishly and very collaboratively to uh, meet the expectations, not only of the state, but uh, of our community and meeting the needs of our kids. Though you, you felt that, I remember uh, some three years ago when mm -hmm. this came up and you had to replace a lot of teachers at Hammond. I mean, it really was a very involved process at, mm -hmm. at Hammond. And, it really was, mm -hmm. um, but it was new. It was new, it was the first time we'd ever done that. Uh, at, at the state level, or, and, and uh, it's the first time we've ever done it in Hammond, and uh, we found out that we need to do some things differently, and uh, we've learned from that, and uh, we're going to move forward with what we've learned and what we know and what we have now and uh, try to turn Hammond High around. What do you think didn't work that last time out? Well, we, it, it, we just didn't know what to expect. I mean, when you come in, it was a short window of time that we were awarded the grant funds in May. We had to get this plan in place by, over the summer. Um, <clears throat> the selection process for staff, uh, interviewing new staff, re replacing all the other staff that we had to, because we had to let 50% of the staff go. Right. Uh, we needed more time for one thing, and the state was not very generous with that. So uh, that's what we've had on our side this time, the time to really look at the needs of the school, uh, look at uh, people that we were bringing in. And uh, so I think that was the biggest factor that will help us hopefully be more successful this time. So you have a handle on it now. What, what are you going to do differently? Are you, different well, courses? Are you going to, how are, how will the teachers and administrators work with one another? How th will things be different? Well, one of the things that we've done that we're looking at doing is really build in to the school day collaboration time for teachers to talk about student achievement. We are training uh, teachers how to look at data and how to utilize data to uh, adapt instruction. Uh, we have uh, uh, placed an instructional coach in not only uh, Hamlin High School, but in every building uh, in the school city of Hamlin. So we are adding additional uh, uh, resources in the terms of uh, staff support, in terms of utilization of time, looking at how we use time differently, uh, in terms of understanding and analyzing data differently. So all of those things should make a difference. Um, we had some folks on on the radio earlier in the week talking about what the governor wants to do to, uh, for vocational ed. He wants to change the way Indiana puts out vocational ed so students are, are trained for the jobs that are out there. Uh, what do you think of that process so far? And do you think your students are prepared once they get that degree from Hammond that they're ready to go into the workforce? <laughs> It's interesting that the governor talks about the term vocational education because we've tried to eliminate that word from the uh, educational vocabulary for at least a generation. We really talk about career and technical education. And uh, if you look at what career and technical education is all about, it is really about high skills, high wage. It's no longer about vocational training. So I think that uh, in light of what we offer, in particular at our Hammond Area Career Center, I think that kids who come through our school system uh, and who, who in particular go through the uh, programs at the Area Career Center definitely leave with the uh, training, uh, the different certifications, college credit. They leave with the skills that they need to be competitive in a, uh, the marketplace. You're the largest school district in Northwest Indiana, now one of the largest school districts in the state of Indiana. Mm -hmm. Does that carry a particular responsibility in your mind? And, and how much do the districts work together? Do they work together a lot? Oh, uh, I mentioned earlier that I now have a team that I think is very strong, very focused, very collaborative. Uh, so yeah, I, I think we're moving in that direction now. And yeah, being the largest district in the area, 
uh, being the seventh largest in the state, uh, looking at the, the uh, challenges that we face as an urban school district, absolutely, it's a huge responsibility. And do the districts around here cooperate? Do you feel that you're leading or one of the leaders in Northwest Indiana? And what does that mean? I think that for an urban district, we are probably one of the most successful around. When you look at the challenges that we face in terms of our student demographics, uh, we are doing faring extremely well when you, you look at the challenges that we deal with in our school classrooms every day. Well, I guess that's what we're going to leave it. This has been uh, Hammond Superintendent Walter Watkins. Thank you so much for being on. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.